Alrighty folks, we are what six weeks away from March Madness beginning and it's crazy to think that we're six weeks away but here we are and we start tonight with a top 15 matchup Oklahoma Texas Tech boy oh boy is that going to be fun you know Oklahoma has vastly improved has vastly gotten you know big time victories over the past two weeks at Texas Tech they have been playing some good basketball as well. Gonna be a great game tonight. Tomorrow, another great one. A top 10 matchup. Baylor, Texas, my horns versus Jerry Butler and the Baylor Bears. What a what a great week. The Big the Big 12 is trying to take each other out. You know, teams are trying to take each other out in this conference. And these two matchups specifically are going to be very fun on Monday and Tuesday night. As we move on throughout the week, there's also, you know, rumblings of, you know, Drake being in the top 25. Undefeated Drake, the Bulldogs. I will see them in action at some point. You know, hopefully this week, I'm hoping that I can squeeze in some time to see them. Um, but they do play tonight, and they play a game on Saturday as well. It's part of their, you know, their weekend series. You know, they're doing the weekend series thing where, you know, they play two games at home against, you know, one team and they go on the road for two games against another team. That's how the Missouri Valley Conference is doing it, I believe. So, you know, there, there is what it is. We're wondering if Michigan State can improve their tournament resume, you know, because they're looking like they're not going to be in right now. They have a big test, you know, starting tomorrow against Iowa. But I don't I don't I don't really know if uh, I really don't know if Michigan State has enough momentum because they looked horrid. We're talking horrid against Ohio State yesterday. And this game against Iowa could be the same thing, you know. But we're going to keep on moving on here. Kansas has dropped a lot of spots. Purdue's in the top 25 now, too. So keep an eye on the Boilermakers. Keep an eye on them. Uh, we're going to keep on moving down. Florida's also in the top 25. Keep an eye on the Gators. I knew this team was going to be a top 25 team at some point during the season. And here they are. Right in the thick of things. Uh, so, uh, here we go. Just going to keep on going through these midweek conference games. And then you get the Thursday night. Obviously, Gonzaga's playing, you know, also on Thursday night. But big time matchup here. I Ohio State, Iowa. Big time players make big time games. And Ohio State has gotten some big time W's in the past few weeks. And they could get another against Iowa and Luca Garza and company. I, I'm telling you, this Ohio State team can hang with anybody in the country. I've been saying that, you know, E.J. Liddell, said Key, you know, guys like those that have been playing some damn good basketball over the past several weeks that I've been watching. And Ohio State really is legitimate. They're a really legit team. And it's going to be, that, that matchup right there is going to be fun. But then we moved Saturday, of course. What what video, what college basketball video is this without talking about Saturday? Um, so yeah, Drake will be playing Valparaiso on Saturday. They'll also be playing them on Sunday. That is Super Bowl Sunday. And there are some other games on Super Bowl Sunday as well that are very interesting. But I'll talk about those in a moment. There's also Kansas taking on West Virginia. Big time ranked matchup there. Now, of course, um, Kansas has been kind of iffy lately. They've lost, what, four of their last five games now. They've looked awful on offense. And this game against West Virginia could be more of the same if things don't go well. They need to, st need to start picking up right about now for the Jayhawks. <laughs> There's also a Wisconsin Illinois game that's going to be very interesting, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it because my Longhorns are playing it too. So that that Wisconsin Illinois game is at 
I mean, just going to be one hell of a game right there. You know, I mean, Wisconsin's been kind of iffy lately. Illinois is trending back up, you know, from where they were earlier in the season. But that Wisconsin-Illinois game is going to be fun regardless. Don't sleep on that game. Do not sleep on that game. It's going to be fun. I wonder what Coburn's going to do. Um, also, on Saturday... Uh, nothing else really, except for Alabama, Missouri. <laughs> yeah, a right Alabama, Missouri matchup. Now I think the time here is wrong. Um, this game is actually supposed to be at 11 a.m., 12 Eastern. But a big time matchup there. Alabama is top 10. Crazy stuff, right? Top 10 Alabama, Missouri. On the other hand, they've been kind of wishy-washy lately. Somehow they're still in the top 25. And, um, yeah, this is going to be a great matchup. I can tell you right now, Alabama saw them for the first time play last Saturday. And it's a fun team. Very fun team, you know. You know, they, they, they have some pieces on that offense. And they are being projected, you know, right now to be like a two seed, which is crazy. Two-seeded Alabama. Crazy stuff right there, right? And there's also Gonzaga playing Santa Clara. However, technically, technically, I don't think these games are actually supposed to be on this week. So, I don't think Gonzaga's playing Santa Clara or Loyola Marymount. I think they have an opening in their schedule, I think, because of COVID. Due to both programs. You know, having COVID, so could there be a matchup for Gonzaga this week? And it might be Houston, because Houston, I don't see Houston on here at all. Um, keep an eye out on that. There could be a Gonzaga-Houston matchup most likely this week. That's what I'm thinking. Or something completely different, or Gonzaga just doesn't even play this week. I really don't know, because I, I, I'm thinking, like, wait, aren't, aren't these games, you know, with Gonzaga canceled right now? You know, with Santa Clara, Loyola, Marymount. It's like, wait, what? No, no, no. But yeah, Super Bowl Sunday also has some interesting stuff. You know, again, I did say Drake will be taking on Balpo, you know, twice in the next couple of days. And I'll watch the... I'll probably watch the first matchup. I don't think I'll be able to watch the second. It's I don't, I don't really feel like doing two basketball games at the same time. You know, on Super Bowl Sunday. Because, I mean, Iowa, Indiana is enough... Reprieve and Xavier Villanova right after that. That's pretty much enough right there. Very good stuff right there. Iowa, you know, they, again, they have a tough week, you know, ahead of them. And Indiana's no slouch. Remember, the Big Ten has not been a slouch. It has been a damn good conference this year. And we got to remember, you got to remember that Indiana, Indiana can play. They can play ball. And Iowa... Sometimes they let their guard down on defense a little bit too much. So, you know, games with Ohio State and, and obviously Sunday with Indiana could be dangerous if Iowa decides, you know, hey, we're just not going to play defense today. And also Xavier Villanova. Villanova, they've been at number three for a, the longest time now. They are a damn good bunch as well. Obviously, we all know about Villanova and their success. Xavier's a, Xavier's a tricky team for me because I really haven't seen them play yet, you know? Yeah. But um, I, I'll be able to do that this Sunday, hopefully, hopefully. You know, every week there's a game getting postponed because of Corona. So, you know, there, there's like 20 to 100 games getting postponed each and every week because of Corona. So you never know what could happen. But, yeah, that'll do it. I'll see you guys later, and we'll talk the Super Bowl soon, so see you then.